Akiwa listeners, let's learn Sumo Osaka Harubashu, days four and five. Welcome to the podcast, I'm Clayton. Let's go through some of the matches. We'll get through both days, but first let's uh, have a little bit of uh, news. Um, it appears that there's still a bit of bit going on between Hokuseho and uh, the Miyagino uh, stable uh, scandal. Apparently, there's a number of issues being put to the JSA Compliance Committee about how they're going to deal with this stable. There's still some talk that they may, well, maybe not break up the stable, but move the stable temporarily under another stable master to get a little bit of control, give uh, Hakuho some uh, Miyagino Oyakata, give him some time to uh, learn the trade a bit more. They're talking about Isagahama uh, stable, which is the big stable that... Uh, Yokozuna, Terano Fuji and all the Fuji boys come from, but uh, apparently that's been knocked back, so uh, we'll wait for a bit more news there. Really, this tournament so far, day four and five, has been what is going on with our Ozeki Kirishima, who up to day the end of day four was 0 and 4. We'll get into that in a minute. Finally got a win in day five. Um, look, I don't know. I went back and looked at all of his fights this this uh, tournament and a couple from the previous tournament. I just think he, he was practicing well. He had uh, some pretty good practice bouts uh, coming into this tournament. Just looked like he lacks a bit of patience in the way he's going about his sumo. A little bit of confidence maybe lacking after his uh, fairly nasty loss to the Yokozuna. But, you know, he is a bit of a confidence uh, fighter, I would think. Uh, can't see anything that would particularly point to an injury. Uh, he is going to his new stable with Ka- his Oyakata that he's following, Kakuryu. Um, he, so, you know, maybe feeling a bit a uh, bit of change going on there. Day one versus Arby, he uh, hit and Arby stepped back and he went down for a face plant. Look, that probably a little bit impatient. And I th- would think that Kirishima should know better against Arby. Arby is the henker king. He likes to... Uh, shift to the side and let people go hard at him and face plant. Um, and I think he should know better than to go that hard at the touchy eye against Arby. It's always a risk. Day two, he got a really good grip on a tummy Fuji, but he lost it as he tried for a hip throw on the youngster, uh, which nearly led to an arm bar by a tummy Fuji against him. He tried again, but he just wasn't in the right position and he was too close to the edge and went out Yorokuri. I think that, again, was maybe lacking a bit of patience on behalf of uh, Kirishima there. He uh, is known to otherwise get himself in a better position. Ura, well, funnily enough, he let Ura do Ura things at his pace, which is, a, you know, very unusual for Kirishima. He likes to pace himself in the match. He threw himself at Ura at the edge as Ura basically dodged and uh, came back up. He didn't really have a f- stable platform to launch himself and uh, face-planted yet again. Day four, uh, Asanayama, he, look, he got a good grip, but he really started going backwards. And again, he just didn't have a stable base to defend or push, and out he went. So, look, just, I think, a little bit of, I don't know, lack of patience, I think, is perhaps the thing that uh, he needs to get back, get himself back into it. Uh, our Yokozuna had two losses day four and day five. Lost to Maysay again. He lost last year to Maysay. Gave uh, Maysay another pay rise. Um, he, he made, um, in May, he made Terunofuji work hard around the ring to keep his base and change direction while he had his belt to get the Yokozuna stood up a little bit. A little bit of his uh, centre of gravity went up, uh, which allowed him to get a push out. Um, he, he lost uh, yesterday to uh, Maysay. He did his usual trick where he locks up both arms. Maysay went for an inside belt grip. Terunofuji locked up both his arms. Maysay just seemed to have the strength to be able to stand the Yokozuna up a little bit and go for the push out, uh, which was a little bit unusual. He didn't quite have his stable base going, his center of gravity. Uh, and he lost again today to uh, Oho, where uh, he Oho was very motivated. We'll get into that a little bit later about those matches. Abi beat his best friend, Wakamoto Haru. Wakamoto Haru and Abi are really good friends. Their wives are friends, and they go out uh, and spend a lot of time together. So uh, 
Wakamata Ohara will probably hurt a little bit losing to his best friend like that. Hakuho, uh, sorry, Hakuho, not the Yokozuna. Hakuoho in Jurio coming back up from injury. He had his first loss yesterday. He is uh, four and one. Wakataka Kage, our former Sekiwake, who had the injury and is coming back up through the ranks. He is five and zero oh after day five. A couple of Jurio, uh, sorry, uh, Kujo injuries. Uh, people going out of the tournament uh, injured. Sudagisho on day four, we'll get to that in a minute. And Shimazumi, he did his knee, like I said, in day three. He didn't turn up for day four, so that gave a Fusen a default win to one of the wrestlers. So let's quickly go through day four. Uh, Takeda Fuji versus Miyagiru. Uh, look, Takeda Fuji, he pressed Miyagiru uh, back, tried to throw, but he kept the pressure up uh, for a an Oshidashi push-out. Takeda Fuji, look, he's showing good strength, good mobility, and very good uh, motivation. That got him to a 4-0 lead on day four. Roger versus Day Mummy, uh, bit of a snooze fest, grip fest, uh, but Roger went first with a big yelp, belt yank, uh, got an Uwatanage win over Day Mummy. I think Day Mummy at 0 and 4 after day 4 would want to get a few wins up or he's going to end up back in Jurio very quickly. Uh, Endo defeated Kitanowaka by Yurikiri, uh, Ryuden. And Churunumi faced off. Ryuden got a Yorikiri over Churunumi. They both tried to uh, stop their belt grip. Um, Churunumi slipped left against the bales. Ryuden took advantage. That gets Ryuden to 3-1. and one. Uh, Nishiki Fuji was the lucky man who got a Fusen default win over Shimazumi. Sadanumi defeated Ichiya Momoto. Uh, look, Ichiya Momoto tried his Sapari thrusting. Uh, Sadanumi tried for the belt. He tried to grab Ichi, well, he did grab uh, Ichi uh, Momoto's arm, got it and spun him around and launched him over the bales, Oshidashi. Uh, Shonanumi defeated Kit, uh, Mitakeyumi, uh, Suki Teoshi. Big push by Mitakeyumi. Uh, Shonanumi moved to the side of the bales, brought his arms down, and Mitakeyumi went down. Shonanumi, three and one. Kota Shoho defeated uh, Hokuto Fuji. Look, it was really when I first saw this in live, uh, I thought it was a hanker. Uh, but if you go back and watch it again, it wasn't a hanker. Basically, Kota Shoho did not move his feet one inch. Uh, it was all Hokuto Fuji. He seemed to go slightly off to the left, and Kota Shoho just uh, was able to sweep his arms and press down as Hokuto Fuji face planted Hitaki Komi, uh, not a hanker even slightly. Uh, it was a really unusual uh, move off the touchy eye by Hokuto Fuji, and I think that might have something to do with his knee. Uh, Shodai defeated uh, our big bear, Takiyasu. Uh, Takiyasu smashed Shodai's head back, uh, and Takiyasu tried to resist, but Shodai had the power. He got an Oshidashi win, uh, three and one for both of those guys. Tamawashi defeated uh, Kinbozan. Look, this was quick and hard, and Kinbozan ended up landing hard out of the ring on his back. Look, it took him a little while to get up. It was a nasty landing. Uh, Tamawashi got the win, but Kinbozan, uh, I found out today, he's gone out. Kujo with damage to uh, some vertebrae, uh, his cervical vertebrae. So he's out for at least seven days. I would think maybe a little bit longer. He wouldn't likely come back in this tournament uh, with only two or three days back. There'd be no point. Goniyama defeated Onosho. Uh, Onosato defeated Midori Fuji. Uh, that was a big forearm freight train by, by Onosato on Midori Fuji. Just straight out and out you go, son. Hiradumi defeated Surugisho. Uh, look, they got into a belt grip. Um, Surugisho wrapped Hiradumi up, but they struggled for a few moments. And as they did, Surugisho's knee just gave out very badly. And he went down like a sack of potatoes. Uh, luckily, they have a new rule where they have some medics on the side of the dojo and all the former wrestlers in the blue jackets you will see. They're all former uh, sumo wrestlers who now work for the JSA. Uh, they had to come in and assist Surugisho off the dojo, most unceremoniously rolling him over because he's quite a large man. It looked quite painful. And Surugisho is out for the tournament. Uh, he's out for at least two months apparently, uh, with a damaged knee. Atami Fuji defeated Tobizaru, uh, a uh, Kimadashi. 
Look, um, he tried to keep... Uh, Tommy Zari tried to keep Atami Fuji off the belt. Uh, he did get a double inside grip on Atami Fuji. So Atami Fuji locked up his arms, very similar to what the Yokozuna does, lifted him up and out. So they went to a piece. Um, Daesho, finally, our thrashing machine, got a win against Nishiki Fuji, Sukadashi. Daesho thrashed, Nishiki Nishiki went out meekly, uh, one and three each. It was a pretty easy win from Daesho in the end. It was pretty good to see him get a little bit of motivation back and a bit of push and thrust going there. Uh, Abi defeated Wakamoto Haru, as I said. He slammed Wakamoto Haru and hit him again. Look, I think Wakamoto Haru might have copped a poke in the eye or something, put him off, but uh, either way, it wasn't a great performance by Wakamoto Haru. Uh, RB is very motivated and in very good form. Suki Dashi thrust out there. RB goes to 4 and 0. Oh, Wakamoto Haru 3 and 1. Uh, Takakesho took on our Osaka favourite, the pink Mawashi man Ura, our acrobat. Uh, Ura tried his similar movements that he did with Kirishima to effect uh, on day three, but. Takakesho basically cornered him, if you could say that, in a circle, um, got hold of him and forced the issue and stopped Ura going laterally, and out Ura went. Takakesho gets a three and one, Ura sitting on two and two. Uh, Oshoryu uh, faced up against Oho. Look, it's really good to watch this, and, and uh, maybe Kirishima would do well to go and watch Hashoryu fight. This was just pure patience from Hashoryu. He wrapped him up, he took his time, uh, he twisted Oho, and uh, he went a diagonal uh, Hikiyatoshi um, and gave Hashoryu the win. He's fighting fairly well this tournament so far. Uh, no signs of his injury onto his knee from January. Asanayama. Defeated Kirishima Yorikiri. Like I said, um, he basically got a grip, but he started going backwards. He just didn't have a stable base. It just looked like, I don't know, skittish, I think is the word I would have said in terms of the way he went backwards. It wasn't a stable movement. Uh, He didn't have that base to uh, defend or push, and he goes out uh, on a Yorikiri. Uh, look, that put him to a 0 and 4, which was really not a great outcome after four days for the Ozeki. Asanayama doing well. Kota Nawaka defeated Takanosho. Look, Takanosho gave his all in this fight. He tried to defend the throw from Kota Nawaka. Kota Nawaka got a grip, was trying to pick him up and throw him to the side. Uh, Takanosho kept wrapping his leg around Kotonawaka, but eventually Kotonawaka got a bit of strength and got him in the end and turned him over for the win. Meisei came up against Terunofuji. As we said, Terunofuji locked up his arms but went backwards. He did not have a stable base. He was up too high and he got lifted and forced out backwards as he gripped uh, Meisei's arms. I don't know whether even if he let go of Meisei's arms, it would have made any difference at that point. But uh, either way, Meisei got a Kinboshi win uh, over the Yokozuna, and uh, that gets him a uh, an extra payday. So on to day five. Our man who's in the joint lead, Takeda Fuji. He defeated Toki Hayate from Jurio. That gets him to 5 and 0. Oh. So Toki Hayate come up to replace one of the uh, injured lads. Takeda Fuji fighting well and takes that win. Mitakiyumi gets back on, uh, got onto Shodai's belt and lifted him out. Uh, that was 3 and 2 for each of those guys. Ichiyamoto uh, came up against Katashoho and he really came out in a threshing battle. Uh, against Kota Shoho, and uh, Kota Shoho pretty much got dumped out unceremoniously. It was an Oshi Tayoshi push out of the ring. Uh, it was quite a quite a fall there. Takiyasu made quick work of Onosho, uh, getting him behind with a grip on his mawashi to fisherman him out of the crowd. That was an Uwata, da- uh, Uwata Dashinage overarm throw uh, for Takiyasu the bear. Uh, Midori Fuji finally gets a win. It was some pretty smart sumo here from Midori Fuji. Takanosho tried to keep him at arm's length. Uh, he does have a bigger reach, and obviously uh, Midori Fuji being the smaller guy. Um, so as he was doing that, and he wasn't allowing Midori Fuji to get up under his arms, Midori Fuji decided he would disengage. He moved laterally and 
got him around and pushed him out for the Oshidashi. Uh, Takanosho was probably a bit surprised at that one. Uh, look, uh, probably one of the fights of the day, Hiradumi versus Tobizaru. Uh, look, I had it as a really good fight. Hiradumi got a big left belt grip, and Tobizaru was pretty much denied any belt grip on the touchy eye. He ended up with a, a body grip uh, with the left, but didn't really have a, a great uh, grip there, but as Hiradumi likes to do, he throws those really big hip movements in to keep Tobizaru off his belt and keep him moving, uh, trying to put him off balance. Uh, that a few stalemates, and uh, Tobizaru went for a really big left body throw, but Hiradumi, I don't know how, but he saved it. Uh, Tobizaru got himself an inside belt uh, on the Mawashi of Hiradumi, uh, and uh, Tobizaru's uh, Mawashi belt came a little bit loose at the front. No big dramas there. Got into another stalemate and another hip tussle, but there was no advantage at that point. Uh, and after about probably about a two-minute fight, Hiradumi went again, and Tobizaru, he just seemed to not have a good foot position. He just seems his feet were a little bit uh, not in the right position to give him uh, a defensive position, and he got pushed back over the bales. I, I just think it was a little bit of a mistake there from Tobizaru in how he saw that match going as a, a, a Yorokiri for Hiradumi. Certainly not an easy match. Uh, they both worked very hard. Really good fight if you go back and watch that one. Uh, again, Abi defeated Nishkigi. Uh, look, he got a really big Nottawa neck thrust on Nishkigi. Nishkigi went under the arms and Abi was on the defensive and there's a bit more threshing, uh, a bit more uh, Sapari thrusting, some more Nottawa neck thrusts as Nishkigi charges at uh, Abi. Abi decided to move left. He danced on the bales to get out of the way and he took the win. Uh, they called it a Sukiyatoshi diagonal body throwdown. Uh, that keeps Abi in the lead at five and zero. Is this going to be Abi's tournament? He's going to have Takeda Fuji to chase on that one. Uh, Nishkigi, he's in trouble at uh, one and four. Daesho, our thrashing machine, and Wakamoto Haru. Daesho goes hard for the push thrust as Wakamoto Haru tried to absorb the hits and he went for the belt. But uh, Daesho had a really much, a, a bit of a lower position there and he kept Wakamoto, uh, Wakamoto Haru going backwards. He used the bales uh, at his feet to defend himself to get a bit of a position to uh, stop the, the big thrusting forwards and he moved laterally but he just got another wave of Nottawa neck thrusts from Daesho. And as Wakamoto Haru tried to regather, he just got another face plant and with a bit of help he... Uh, Goes down, a uh, Hikiyatoshi arm pull down from Daesho. Uh, that gets him to two and three. Wakamoto Haru, just a couple of losses over two days, three and two. Kotonowaka and Ura, our acrobat. Uh, Kotonowaka, our Shin Ozeki. Uh, look, uh, Ura, as always, like we said, is uh, Greco Roman style. He goes in very low and he started right outside, but moves to an inside grip and he drove a hand up in the uh, Midori Fuji ninja position, as I call it, uh, looking for the Karasukashi. And he pulled hard, he got Kotonowaka uh, off balance and uh, stepping forward off balance, and as he did, Ura pressed it. Uh, in the shoulder for a win, Karasu Kashi swing down three and two each. He takes a win off the Yoka, off the uh, Ozeki. That's two Ozeki wins he's got in this tournament. Uh, it was a pretty good win there. I think uh, Kotonawaka he's taken the odd uh, Karasu Kashi himself, so he'll be a bit unhappy to lose by Midori Fuji's favourite technique there. Takakesho comes up against our, and I keep calling him the newcomer, but he's probably third fourth Basho now. Uh, Atami Fuji. And so they got a good, strong touchy eye. They're both very big men. Tommy Fuji tried for the arm grab, and Takakesho disengaged and tried to Hataki Komi slap down with a hand on the back of uh, Atami Fuji's neck. But somehow Atami Fuji stayed upright, and I do always uh, look at Tommy Fuji, does really keep a very good balance and a good movement of, around the ring in terms of keeping a balance, keeping his centre of gravity low. And I think that's pretty much what helped him here. He recovered and got a big push on Takakesho. Takakesho went back to the bales and he just got hit with a big Nottawa neck thrust. Uh, and as he bent back, he went out Oshidashi over the edge and down into the dirt off to the side. 
To me, uh, look, a good win for Atami Fuji. Uh, I just think Tucker Kosho didn't really have a plan B. He thought it was done with the uh, Hitaki Komi, but he didn't quite get there. He certainly wasn't in a position or prepared for that second wave and the neck hit. Uh, Atami Fuji, some good sumo there, some good uh, thinking and a good recovery. Hoshoryu versus Asaniyama. I kind of picked this was going to be a good fight, uh, both in good form. Hoshoryu tried for a grip, but he ended up on the body. and They both tried hard to get a decent hold. Eventually, Hoshoryu got a right belt grip. Asaniyama got a left grip. Uh, it was really a battle of strength that uh, Hoshoryu won in the end and turned Asaniyama over at the bales and dumped him out. Shitata Nage, underarm grip belt throw. So that gets him to four and two. So he's still in uh, with a chance for the Basho. He's only one behind at this stage. Kirishima versus Meisei. As we said, uh, Kirishima came into this uh, 0 and 4. Meisei came in really low, lifted Kirishima with a big Nottawa neck thrust. He went for a big second hit and Kirishima saw it. He was moving to the right to absorb it and uh, look, there's a really good change of direction here from Kirishima. I think he kind of, his sumo senses woke up a bit. He changed direction and went left out of Meisei's way, helped him down. Hitaki Komi slapped down. That got him to a one and four. So on to the last fight for tonight, Teruna Fuji versus Oho, a Megashira three. Oho thrusted hard and got Teruna Fuji going backwards. He was in a better position. He was in a lower position. He... Uh, and I think some of the Ozeki and certainly Kirishima might want to look at how Oho goes about this. He connect, uh, he connects his hands with his opponent and then charges. He doesn't charge and then hope that his opponent's going to be there and uh, find that he's not. Uh, it was very clear that when he went to a charge at Terunofuji, he got a connection with his hand and then did the charge. And I think that makes all the difference for him there. Certainly, Terunofuji really tried hard to absorb some of these hits, but I think he was a little bit shocked at how fast he came at him. Terunofuji caught his arm and he tried to turn Oho over, but Oho kind of held on as uh, Terunofuji had to skip back on the bales to keep his balance. Oho pushes him over for a Kinboshi win uh, for the Mega Shira Rikshi. Uh, look, I think Terano Fuji, he just got up, uh, got one arm, one, sorry, one leg up, trying to get the throw. As Oho got his balance and didn't go over, he had to come back down. He didn't quite have a stable base himself and he was off balance and thus he was easily pushed out. So both Meisei and Oho are going to get big pay rises and a big bag of envelopes each uh, because obviously if you're a uh, Megashira wrestler, a Megashira Rikshi, uh, and you beat a Yokozuna, you actually get a pay rise, which goes to uh, your permanent pay, and you also get the uh, sponsor's pay envelopes at the end of that win. So they're both two and three. The uh, Yokozuna is in deep trouble here at uh, three losses, uh, losing to Nishikigi on day one, and then losing to uh, Meisei day four, and Oho on day five. That really only allows him for 12 wins, and I would think that that puts him out of the Basho by this stage. Uh, I can't see him winning the Basho with 12 wins, given that we've got uh, a few on five wins already. Look, not out of the, not certainly not out of the question. Uh, so our five wins at the moment, certainly in the lead, our Komosubi Abi is at five wins. Onosato Magashira 5 is on five wins, uh, and our... Megashira 17, Rikshi Takeda Fuji on five wins. Look, Takeda Fuji obviously has only faced the lower order guys, so he'll come up the ranks at some point. I would think that both uh, Onosato and Abi are in fairly good position here. I certainly wouldn't count out uh, Hoshoryu at four and one. He's in pretty good form. Uh, given how Kirishima's fighting, I wouldn't put much chance on him winning. Wakamoto Haru and Kotonawaka, our uh, Ozeki and Sekiwake, I think they're still in with a chance here. They, uh, they're they they not in bad form. They've just had a couple of unlucky losses there. Uh, so, yeah, look, there's certainly some room to move for a few of those guys going into the end of this first week. Uh, certainly they'll need to get up some consistent wins over the next few days. 
So that's day four and five of Osaka. Look, we'll come back in a few days and we'll talk about days uh, six and seven, maybe. Uh, We'll see how we go time-wise. We'll catch up with uh, all the action and any further news. I hope you're enjoying the tournament uh, and join me again next time. I'm Clayton. Thanks for joining me. Hakioi, listeners.